Now, we're going to be right up front and say we're not sure how to pronounce this animal's name. We've heard patu, putu, potu, and even potu. However, Webster's lists the phonetic spelling as potu, so that's what we're going with. Let us know in the comments your thoughts on this bird's common name. Technically, we could call them poor me ones, as that's another common name for these birds. But it's in reference to their calls, and they all have different calls. In fact, the potu's call is one of the ways these birds can be differentiated from one another in the field. Different potu species look quite similar to each other, and even the males and females have no sexual dimorphism. When they give out a call, however, this can help to identify a potu's species, and sometimes even sex. Some people don't believe these birds exist due to their strange appearance, but they're real, and there's more than one species. There are seven potu species living throughout forests of Central and South America. What's interesting, though, is that fossil evidence exists that suggests potus may have once had a greater range. These nocturnal birds have large yellow eyes. A potu's eyelids are special in that there are grooves which allow the potu to detect movement even when its eyes are closed. This helps protect the bird from predators which include monkeys, falcons, and weasels. Not only can they close their bright eyes that might otherwise give away their camouflage, they can still see an approaching predator if their eyes are closed. Potus have large tails and short legs. They spend most of the day perched on a branch, morphing their body to blend in with the surroundings. They'll stick out their beaks and hold perfectly still so that they look like just another part of the tree. Their mottled brown and gray feathers help with this camouflage. In size, potus range from 8 to 22 inches at full length, meaning the larger species can be the size of a snowy owl. Their beaks are hooked and belie the gaping maw that is the potu's mouth. These birds wait on their perch at night until an insect comes into view, at which point the potu will fly out and snatch it up in its seemingly oversized mouth. It's like a flying, bug-catching net. Potus will also eat small birds and bats if they have the chance, though these are rarities on this bird's menu. Potu couples are believed to be monogamous, though they don't interact with each other much. They'll live near each other, especially while raising a chick, but these birds are generally considered solitary. Even while watching over their offspring, potu parents swap nesting duties and aren't usually at the nest at the same time. If you can even call a potu nest a nest, it's more like an impression in the tree. The egg is laid in a notch in the tree and incubated for about a month. After hatching, the baby takes between one and two months to become independent. How long they live is currently unknown. For more facts on potus, check out the links in the description. Thank you to Jason Sumner, John O. Martin, and Doggy Chan for today's request. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today, and thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.